All right, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's not GSAP, but it's something that we have done previously in a previous video. It was a Stripe kind of effect. If you go on Stripe's website, you will see that they have a fun, fluid effect going on there. So we are going to be doing another 3JS. That's how it's called the, the library that we're going to be using. And it's going to have a ripple effect and it's pretty cool of course it needs to be used mindfully as anything else that we create on this channel so let's get into it all right you guys let's get started so we're gonna be adding a container in here so uh, as you know usually full width is the width of our container i'm gonna set this to be 100 bh um yeah like that publish and inside here i'm going to be adding an html widget yeah so here in here we're going to be adding our code so i'm going to just add the code it's going to be super quick i guess i'm going to explain to you what you can change and what you should change if you want to make the effect your own so let's add the code and i'm going to drop it in here it's a lot yeah a lot a lot but don't get scared because i'm going to explain to you what you need to change okay let me publish this all right so let's get over let's go and see what we have so far and this is what we have all right so i would assume that you would want to change the background of this canva container uh, element as well as maybe the font the font width the font height actually the font height mostly and also the color of the font so let's get back to our code so let's go one by one let me just make this a little bit and let's have a look so let's go all the way down here because this is where the magic happens okay so as you can see here this part here this here yeah and this here are the the color of the background so let's say if i change this to red say red here and red here let's publish and let's have a look voila yeah it changed actually it looks pretty cool let's change this to the text to say a supreme so i'm changing it here prim <laughs> and here as well you have to change it in both uh, places okay <laughs> and let's have a look okay supreme and let's change this to a different font yeah and uh, let me just go here so one place is here four pins and then we have another here four pins yeah all right let's update and voila and we can make it even bigger so uh, right now we have this set to pixels but you could change it to uh, rem if you want you can have change it to the width that you want um so let's go to 350 yeah and also here 350 publish and voila it's bigger and look how cool this is so keep in mind that this should just be added somewhere where it's like making the most sense maybe you could add it on a hero section but try to make it uh, so that is not taking away from the message but adding to the message if you know what i mean don't use it without a purpose that's very important so if you're working on a website that is i don't know related to water or <laughs> i have no idea you could use this effect to bring the message to life. I think it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, so pretty much that's it. Uh, if you want to see that, you can actually add more containers. So I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna add another container uh, at the top. I'm gonna just duplicate this, although uh, it has the HTML. I'm gonna remove the HTML from the top. And let me just give this a color so you can see the difference. And you will see that you can add this to uh, the page. 
yeah so we have the first container and then we have our ripple effect and it's still working yeah so let me add another container at the bottom i'm just gonna duplicate this drag it down and i am going to give it um oops, another color to see the difference yeah all right all right so we have the first container then we have our other container yeah the container that contains the water effect and then we have the next container so you can have this somewhere else on the page it doesn't have to be on the hero section yeah so let me know in the comments below if you're going to be using this how you're going to be using it if you like it and all that if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye